Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. Feels like such a blast from the past to be starting vlogs like that. It's also another episode of the marathon. Life's not a sprint, it's a marathon. As you can see from that beautiful sign from Shannon back there, it's Sunday, and you might be thinking, Mary, you don't vlog on Sundays. We do during Vlogmas. Surprise! I have been taking Sundays off and not editing, uploading, or vlogging, but that's really not in the spirit of Vlogmas, so at least in December, I will be uploading and vlogging every single day. I'm having some breakfast. The huge. I have no idea what just happened. I was just like la de dying around, washing my hair, you know, putting on my makeup. Good job, bud. And I just like have to look at the clock. Oh, it's 9.35. Thomas' swimming lesson is at 10. What happened? What did mommy do? What did mommy do? We're not having sushi for breakfast. Oh, shout out to Kaylee who sent me this necklace. It's got lavender essential oil in it today. This is what we do every Sunday morning. Thomas has a private swimming lesson with a woman who is amazing and she specializes in teaching children and adults, I think, with special needs how to swim. So, yay. That's what we're doing today. Here comes Thomas, here comes Thomas. Right down Thomas Lane. Hi. Wow, I look disheveled. <laughs> this is a good representation of how I feel right now. Okay, we went to swimming and I'm not gonna film swimming lessons cause that's weird. But he was like pushing his boundaries, testing his coach for sure. And she was like, it's just part of the process. It's just part of the process. I was like, okay, come home, have lunch and then he proceeded to have an accident on the couch. So this is what my couch looks like right now. Washing the couch cushions. Yes, we are. I'm also washing his bedding because I had an accident in his bed last night. <laughs> so many of you always say like, you're perfect, you're so great. No, <laughs> we have rough days too. <laughs> so, it's only noon and I am going to edit the vlog for tonight and just like chill out and hopefully my mood will improve and everything will just calm down. This is what my hair looks like when I let it air dry because we're late for swimming lessons and then I put it up in a bun because it's so sweaty at swimming lessons. <laughs> Tonight's video is edited and it's uploading and as I was editing it, I realized that I filmed way too much yesterday and because we had a rough start to this morning, I am gonna include some footage from yesterday right here. So here is a look at Thomas's Christmas tree. This is under the tree. This was a Jeremy tradition, reading the night before Christmas on Christmas Eve, the last thing that he would do before he went to bed. So ever since our first Christmas together in 2005, he would read this to me and I gave him this copy in like 2010. And this, I found this when I was unpacking. Oh. Do you guys remember this? Twas the night before Vlogmas. This was the beginning of his notes when he wrote it out. And I just kept it there. Oh. <laughs> so we read this every year and this year I'll be reading it to Thomas. It was like a, that was like Jeremy's one tradition that he just he just loved. And with his voice, you know, he read it so perfectly. So that is under Thomas's tree. We have an Elma ornament. It really doesn't want to focus on the Christmas tree. Here we go. Okay, so this is T-Bone's tree. This is the ornament I was telling you about the other day. That's me and Jer on our wedding day. It says love in 2009. And then all the ornaments on this tree are Thomas's and then some of them are mine or ones that Jeremy gave me or I gave him. Like there's baby Thomas and Leanne's daughter. 
How cute. We got a little Red Wings player. I gave that to Jer 100 years ago. And then, yeah, just a bunch of ornaments. And then this is my dad. It says, always in our hearts. The top of the tree, I put this tea ornament. <laughs> so this is Thomas's little tree. This is the one we bought at Walmart last weekend. And I'm so happy with it. I wonder if I need to turn the lights on. <laughs> this is the blurry Christmas tree. Okay, and then, let's see if it'll focus. There we go. So this is the my fireplace underneath my TV, currently watching Pointless Blogs Vlogs. And then these are the Elmo lights, which I don't know if they're gonna really show up on camera. They, okay, that looks real creepy. Trust me, they look red in person. Like, I don't know why the lights show up so much, but they're so freaking cute. Let me see if I can get it to, okay. Elmo's face is not white in real life. I don't know why this is how it's showing up on camera, but I have this string of Elmo lights. So this is Thomas's little like area. Oh, and I just love it. Makes it cozy down here. Um, and something that is like really meaningful to me about those Elmo ornaments is I love how retro they are. And they are pretty much identical to Sesame Street ornaments, like, sorry, not ornaments, string of lights that we had on our Christmas tree when I was little. Um, there was like Oscar the Grouch, Big Bird, a bunch of Sesame Street characters, and it always like was in the Christmas tree. Like looked ridiculous, but we always had that Christmas tree that was just homemade ornaments and colored lights, like totally 80s and 90s and gorgeous. And this down here totally reminds me of that. And seeing those Elmo lights, they were at Canadian Tire and I was like, Oh my heart, a new tradition. Like, oh, it's amazing. So, um, yeah, I'm really happy with the like beautiful setup down here. I think this looks really nice. It's really cozy. And um, yeah, I'm just really happy with it. I'm really happy with that tree. It's a really good, I think that little tree is a really good compromise. So I feel really emotional looking at it um i know I've, I've, i didn't show you but there's like a j ornament and um there's like some other ones that he gave me or i gave him i didn't put all of them up but i did and it's like it feels like a really good balance of the christmas tree that i see all day every day upstairs is the beautiful like perfect one and then the one down here is also beautiful and perfect but it's so much more sentimental and meaningful but I can kind of just like come down here by myself and look at it rather than it being like on the main floor in my face all the time. So yeah, down here is really special to me this year. Now I'm going to do something that I've never done before and I've always wanted to try. I'm going to make a turmeric latte. So I have turmeric here, yes. And I'm using an Indian Rock Vegans recipe. They're fabulous on Instagram if you're not following them. And this is like some of the ingredients they said to use. I don't have cloves and I don't have nutmeg. So we're going to try it and I'm going to try and make it in my Vitamix. Experiments! Woo! I had this exact conversation with Vanessa today. So it was funny. I was wearing this sweater. Yeah, okay, so I'm using this mug. I would use a marathoner mug, but I'm kind of scared that this is gonna stain it. So in here I have put almond, nope, cashew milk. Oh shoot, I guess I should get the recipe out. Where? <laughs> oh, classic mare. Okay, and I feel like I should actually measure. I never measure. This banana has seen better days. Very intrigued by this. I know there's like a zillion ways you can make this, but I've never made it once. So here we go. That would be a fun fact about Mare. I hate measuring. That's why I don't bake. <laughs> Cause you need to measure when you bake. But I feel like this is like very specific.
Here's the concoction. Oh, I was gonna add pumpkin pie spice because I don't have cloves or nutmeg. I don't know if either of those are in this. Cloves are, and so is nutmeg. This counts. And we stopped measuring. Are, is anyone surprised? I know I'm not. It's a little full. Ooh, she's good. It's eight o'clock and I'm just having some tea in a very special mug. Uh -huh. This is Licorice Spice from Stash, it's my fave. And I'm just putting on my fuzzy socks. Like I just love them with the little maple leaf. I got these from Chapters, Kohl's, Indigo. And I actually slept in them last night. And I'm not a socks sleeper, but my tootsies were freezing. They're just like the cutest. Love them so much. I can't remember what the last clip was that I filmed, but we had a pretty chill afternoon. After like the saga of this morning, I washed the covers for the couch and got them back on, fixed Thomas's bed. I read like half of Drew Barrymore's book, started it, and it's so good. And then, yeah, we just chilled out, did three loads of laundry, put two away, one's just finished in the dryer. Just like stuff that I really like to do on the weekend. Like I think I was saying this yesterday, I really like to set myself up for the week because during the week I don't make time to be home in order to do laundry or clean. And um, I really like to start out with a fresh house on a Sunday night. And then Amber Lee came over and brought sushi and we had a nice catch up, like really nice. And I just put Thomas to bed. Um, and because we are doing 12 days of giveaways this Vlogmas. It is day, Vlogmas day three, so I'm doing it every other day, if that makes sense. And I was just reading your entries for Vlogmas day one, and I just wanna give the prize to every one of you. I'm giving away the um, You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero, and I asked like, why would you like this? <sighs> you are all like warriors and changing your lives and going through stuff and like so self-aware that it makes me so proud that you, and honored that you are taking time to watch my videos and find meaning and purpose in my content and that you're sharing it with me. Like, I love your vulnerability. I wish I could send out like hundreds of copies of that book. Um, but today's giveaway, coincidentally enough, is a pair of these reading socks. Dun, 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 that's right. I have another pair right here. The same ones that I'm wearing. Do, do, do. And I want to give away a pair to you. So, all you have to do to enter is to be subscribed to this channel, give this video a thumbs up, and comment below telling me your favorite cozy thing to do during the Christmas season because these socks are so cozy. Um, in case you missed my haul where I showed the ones I bought myself, this is the lining. Like, it is so soft and so cozy and they're so warm and comfy. So if you would like to win this pair of reading socks, just like this video, be a subscriber and comment below telling me your coziest thing that you like to do during the holidays. And that's it for today. This tired face is going to wash her face and go to bed. Probably gonna watch some Will and Grace and eat some chips as we do every single night. Every night I'm like, oh, I should watch a Christmas movie. And I'm like, honestly, I'm only gonna be up for like an hour tops. <laughs> I'm usually asleep by nine. And then we start another week. It's crazy. So thanks for watching. Please lace up and become a marathoner. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And if you'd like to join the Marathoner Facebook group, there's a link below. If you'd like to check out merch, like this beautiful mug. I've got journals, keychains, magnets water bottles the link to marathoner.com is below and I also did a new blog post this morning on why I hate Thanksgiving so you can read that too if you like and I'll see you tomorrow for vlogmas day four this is just it feels like it's already going too fast like I realize I just love vlogmas it makes me so happy and you make me so happy obviously so 
Thanks for hanging out. We made it through another day. And I will see you in the morning. Can't believe it's already Monday tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.